Okay, Paul's obviously fighting uh, Josh Koscheck. Uh, it's been announced for May UFC 113. I understand. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on that fight? Uh, I think it's a, a terrible fight for Koscheck to take. Uh, you know, I think he seriously needs to uh, reconsider before he signs that contract because Paul's just a terrible fight for him. Um, you know, Koscheck uh, seems to have forgotten he's a he's a wrestler of late, and if he decides to stand and trade with Paul, it's going to be a short night for him. Um, you know, having said that, if he does, you know go back to his wrestling and, and try and take Paul to the mat, you know, Paul's not going to be laying down for Koscheck in, in no way, shape or form. He's a, you know, he's a very strong wrestler, he's got a good base and I, I think Koscheck would be surprised how difficult Paul is to take down. Um, it's just a, just a bad fight all round for Koscheck, I just don't see how he can win it. Okay, I mean you've had a bit of history with Josh Koscheck yourself, got into it verbally, etc. Um, you know, what's all that about and what are your personal thoughts towards the man? Um, same as same as a lot of people, you know, at the moment, um, a lot of people are voicing their opinions on, on the fact that I, I'm maybe uh, too early in my career for a title shot, and uh, and obviously, you know, Koscheck feels that he's uh, he, he's he should be in, in front of the line, uh, in front of me in the line. But you know, his inconsistency is the thing that's holding him back. Um, you know, he's I think he's three and two in his last five fights, and that's that's not a record to be stepping into a title shot. Um, you know, and you know, and he, he plays the bad guy very well, and that's that's the the role that he's uh, that he's taken on. You know, be it intentional or or, or unintentional, he, he seems to have slipped into that role, and uh, and people find it very very easy to dislike him. And you know, I can't blame him. I, I don't like the guy, and uh, he don't like me. And I, I don't think we'd uh, I don't think we'd ever get on, even if there was there was no fight game involved. Okay, over the, the last six months or so. Uh, there seems to have developed a real rivalry between the Roughhouse Gym and AKA. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on that, and, and do you see that panning out even further in the future between the two teams? I, I certainly think you know once Paul's knocked out Koscheck, I think there's going to be uh, that's going to you know add, add fuel to the fire. Um, the, you know, there's a lot of this you know pitting one team against another and stuff, and it's, it just so happens that you know we've got a, a group of small, a strong welterweights in, in, in at Roughhouse, and, and they've got a group of strong welterweights at AKA. Um, and you know, the Roughhouse boys don't fight each other, and the AKA boys don't fight each other, so it makes sense to match us up. Um, you know, I, I, I beat the hell out of Swick, and Paul's going to beat the hell out of Koscheck, and then you know we'll see where it takes us from there. Um, uh, uh, you know. I, Mike Swick and, and John Fitch, both real nice guys. I got to spend some time with him in Germany and, and got on with them really well. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about Koscheck, and uh, you know he deserves every every punch he takes. But um, you know, if, if a history develops there, it'll be it'll be a good one for the fans to watch. That's for sure. Okay. Finally, last question. Um, do you have a message, George? Yeah. Keep your hands up, keep your chin down, and shoot for the fences because. Uh, it's going to be a long night if you want to start and try and stand the trade with me. Okay. Have you got any sponsors you'd like to mention or anything else? Uh, just, you know, Tap Out have been great. Uh, they always look after me. Um, and they've just released my new t-shirt, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Um, Zions, I've just signed with Zions, who are uh, looking after me as well. Uh, Fight Mafia for my bandanas. And Earache Records for all your metal and hardcore needs. Okay. This has been Michael Pepper for MMABay.co.uk, association with Fight Dennis with... Dan the Outlaw audience. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.